Here we are. We are going to watch some Megan the Stallion today. Apparently, she opened up, was the opening act for Kamala Harris at a recent rally, and it has caused some stir. I've been busy working, seeing clients in my office, doing some therapy, not really paying attention, but I heard people didn't take too well to Megan the Stallion. Mental health is our thing. Is this mentally healthy for us in our world? Our country's going down the toilet as we speak. Without further ado, let's just see what Megan the Stallion says. Black people turn on Kamala Harris for having Megan the Stallion twerk at rally. What's up, honey? This is your girl, Megan the Stallion, aka the hot girl coach, reporting live. The First of all, I don't even know Megan the Stallion, the Stallion. I don't know who she is, what she does. I guess she's a singer rapper. I know she was on Eminem's Death of Slim Shady. It was something about her feet. She wanted some, he wanted something to do with her feet. I didn't know if he'd have a shot at her feet. What's up with her feet? I don't even know about her feet. What's up, honey? This is your girl, Megan the Stallion, aka the hot girl coach, reporting live with the future president of the United States. Hey, everybody. Cool. What do you have to say to the American people? We are not going back. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later Megan, what is this? At the ATL rally event, like what? You need to pipe it down, honey, and do that somewhere else But not at this type of event, like very So, these are black people apparently, I guess, doing TikToks or, or some videos on the event Watching Megan the Stallion perform And, you know, these rallies they have all kinds of opening acts, different people that perform for them. And it's basically entertainment to help them be, you know, pumped up and ready for the rally. So I guess this was in Atlanta. I guess Kamala Harris thought this would be the good opening act to bring in people or something, but says the crowd looks lost during Megan's performance at her rally. Look at the crowd behind. Honey, do that somewhere else, but not at this type of event. Like, very... Silence is very loud. So out of all the people she could have chose, Kamala Harris picked Meg Thee Stallion to open up her rally in Atlanta. And that's not against Meg Thee Stallion. I love a good twerk every now and then. But optics matter, folks. Optics matter. The black community fall for this cringe. I think this is so true that optics matter because... The way something's presented, and that's anybody, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're wanting my vote or if you're wanting my attention or if you're wanting me to support you, the way it looks matters. And here's where I stand with all politicians. How is the rest of the world perceiving us with the way we do things? It's become a circus at times. And so I don't like people up on stage twerking as they said Megan the Stallion was doing. He's like, I like a good twerk every now and then, you know. I don't I don't know that I'd say that, but he's like, there's nothing wrong with that. It just has its place and its time. And what's happened is with the advent of social media, we have abs we've just given away everything to no rules. Do whatever you want, and it doesn't matter because you're not going to have any consequence for it anyway. I guess, unless they're saying, we're just not going to vote for you now. Optics matter, folks. Optics matter. The black community fall for this cringy-ass bullshit. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. Name me a time in oh. black culture history. You heard someone say, even after the song Walk It Like It Talk It came out, say, man, he ain't walking it like he talk it. Nobody says that, bro. Nobody. Now, I will tell you, my wife always says to me, I watch your feet, not your mouth, Tom. I watch the way you live. I watch the way you walk. She does say that. I don't want to hear all the ways you talk. I don't want to hear you explain. So I, I understand that point. Main point being, you got to talk a game and you got to walk the game. You got to follow through with the way you talk. But man, what I don't like about Kamala Harris in this instance is I feel like she's morphing depending on the audience she has. I've heard her give speeches before and she gives a very uh, professional speech giving approach. And now she's all of a sudden pulling this Southern drawl and this other mentality of like my friend Quavo. Well, first of all, they're not friends with any of them. 
I saw that. Uh, never mind. They're not friends with them. That's not who they associate with. That's not who they spend time with. But when she says, as my friend Quavo says, he does not walk it like he talks it. It's just trying to pull in attention from the people, which I think they get what's going he on. He ain't walking in like he talk it. Nobody says that, bro. Nobody. <laughs> so, so and on wife. top of that, she has this weird accent. Where is this weird accent <laughs> coming from? Saying. Because this is how you normally talk. Your vote is your power. Yes. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. <laughs> But y'all notice how she talked when she was on an LGBTQ set versus how she was talking when she had her rally in Atlanta, Georgia today. Kamala, you are not Southern. You have no <laughs> Southern draw. You're not from any part of any Southern no state. Part. You have no ties to the South whatsoever. So why are you talking like that? You no justification. Right? Ain't she from California? Mama's Indian. Daddy's Indian and Jamaican. So where is the black culture Southern draw coming from? Like I told y'all before this woman had any rallies, I told y'all this weeks ago, y'all fall for that. I eat fried chicken and I eat watermelon and I listen to rap music. Bullshit if y'all want to, y'all gonna be hollering after about three to four months of this woman being in office. I'm not bullshitting with y'all. All skin folk and kin folk and she ain't oh, even skin folk. She woo. Indian. Well, all skin folk ain't kin folk. I have literally never heard that before. And he's just calling her out for don't try to. To me, it's demeaning to me to try to think you can get something over on somebody just by trying to act like they do. I just I don't understand how people think people are going to buy that. And I hope you don't. I hope you got to buy results and what she's really standing for. But he's calling her out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta tell you guys, I have some signs of sanity and hope in this country, even though, even though um, my hopes are fading, okay? Because it seems as if we just have a whole lot of stupid people in this country. And Demo But why does Megan the Stallion come on stage? This is, I really have a question about this. And rap which she does, which is what she does, which is good. And then twerk. A sexual activity up on stage at a political event. You're trying to get people to vote for him. By the way, there's a lot of older people there who have no idea who she is and are completely turned off by that. Why do it? Have her come on and have a rap created that's about Kamala Harris. Why does she do that? because that would actually sell and that would go well. I would like to see her create a rap that has to do with Kamala Harris. Democrats are going harder than ever to get the stupid vote. We need to quit trashing people. Some people are not as stupid as Democrats think because Kamala Harris is getting a whole lot of backlash from black people on TikTok and on Twitter X on social media because of her rally that turned into a twerk concert, right? It was a rap concert featuring Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion gets on stage and starts shaking her booty at a political rally, okay? And a lot of black people were actually offended by this, right? And a lot of black people are like, yo, 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 yo. This is actually not the time and place, right? Like, this is actually okay not to do it. Just do it okay. in a concert. It's not okay for you to try to appeal to black people by using degeneracy. Take a look. Yo, so I watch, um, you know, the rally that Camilla Harris put together in Atlanta, and that was embarrassing. You mm. have Megan Thee Stallion on stage twerking. And it goes to show you that that's the best that she could do. Hmm. That goes to show you what she thinks of us. She thinks that's what we want to see. And I just hate to see it. And it's just, it was just a clown show. It was a circus. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what out of all the musicians, all the things you could put together, you chose Megan Thee Stallion to twerk in on stage. It was just ridiculous. Um, if y'all don't vote this year, I completely understand why. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but 
Yeah, it that that was ridiculous. And that's the same thing Biden did. I remember when he got Cardi B, he interviewed mm. her and it's just like, what are you interviewing Cardi B for? Once I did it, not know that that Joe Biden interviewed Cardi B. I can't imagine what that was like. For any politician to do this just to try to get votes as opposed to bring somebody on to have entertainment that, you know, people enjoy and they like. I love that because you want an opening act. You want entertainment beforehand. But not to try to. Um, I, I, it makes me think you think very little of people to bring on somebody that okay we're going to get your vote now because we're bringing on one of your favorite rappers, and I don't know when they did this if they expected to have this happen. Like, did they predict that we're going to get some backlash from this? Again, it goes to show you they try to appeal to us by hip hop and stuff like that like that's what all of us want to mm. see like no that doesn't yep. stand for all of so us what do you think Corey? so Kamala Harris brought her fake southern accent having ass to Atlanta yesterday and she got up on that stage before she got up on that stage she came out to Quavo and Megan Thee Stallion got up on that presidential rally stage and started twerking in her blue democratic outfit which was a small skirt with a crop top. <sighs> I'm highly disappointed in the city of Atlanta. I'm highly disappointed in the city of Atlanta. She came here. She's from California, but she came here with a fake Southern accent. Look at the way that she was talking, trying to get our attention. You're trying to get our vote and people, the crowd goes crazy. Like Quavo says, they walk it like I talk it. And the crowd went wild. Are y'all serious, black people? Is this all we're worth in Atlanta? Are y'all serious? She comes putting on this fake accent. She's an Indian from California with a white mother. She's never lived in the South. She's married to a, a Caucasian man. Where did this accent come from? This entire speech was a cringe. It was hard to watch. Mm. Like my bones were aching while watching this speech. This wasn't even a speech. This was a circus, a clown show. Come on, y'all. We got to do better than this, Atlanta. Maybe it's just me. I can't believe how many people have come out against this. Like, just straight up, nothing against Kamala Harris. It's one thing if the other side comes out and starts going at her. But for people who, like, actually might support her or believe in her or want to vote for her, it sounds like they're even saying this is too much. And I want you to know the mental health piece is, is to have your own thought, have your own brain and have your own belief system, not to just believe what you see on social media, but to do research and see. You shouldn't uh, vote for Kamala Harris because she has Megan Thee Stallion on. But you know what? You shouldn't also not vote for her because she has Megan Thee Stallion on. These entertainment pieces don't have anything to do with voting. It has to do with you knowing what your belief system is, who you like, what they stand for what they're going to re represent you as, and to stand by that. But you can totally support Kamala Harris and trash her decision to do this because it's demeaning and it's embarrassing and it's not what you should have done. You can do that. You can also do the same with Donald Trump. You can completely support the ideas he has and what his policies are without liking a thing about his personality or how he presents. And... I think he could completely stop talking and do better at this point because there's so much coming out that's hate back and forth that we have to stop, period, end of story. We don't have to be nice to each other, y'all, honestly. We don't have to be nice to each other. We don't have to love on each other. We have to be respectful to each other, though. And I wish politicians would learn to talk about what they believe, what they stand for, what they want to do, what they want to change, what they see that's sad going on in the world today that they want to make different. I wish they'd talk about their stance. In therapy all the time, we talk to people about, talk about I, don't talk about you. When I have a couple in my office, I want them to say, I have been hurt lately because I have felt abandoned or I've felt mistreated or I've felt like I've been having to do all of the work. You could say all the I messages you want without saying you're not doing this, you're no good, you're terrible, you're a loser. We need to stop all that and talk about what they stand for. But with Meg Thee Stallion mm. at the Kamala Harris rally, does it just not feel forced? It, it feels out of place. It, it's not genuine. And I get it. Kamala wants all the black vote. So you get a black rapper to rap her song, a popular song. You get another black rapper from Atlanta 
to talk. And he says some black stuff. I, I forgot the quote he said, but it was one that, something that he probably put in the song. But it just does not feel genuine. Like, I understand you want to pander to the crowd, but just it, it just feel it feels so forced. Hey, am I the only one that feels that way? What is what are you doing? My bad, my dog over here tripping. <laughs> but I'm just so it just feels so forced. It feels so out of place. And like every time I see it, I cringe. Cause it's like, why are y'all saying all this stuff? Cause mm. it's corny. Yeah. Like, who is her writers? Who yeah. is planning all of this? It's a good point. Whoever it is in charge of this, do better. Cause you're not making her that much likable. <sighs> like, am I gonna vote for her? Probably, cause I'm super against Project 25. Cause that See, that's where people go is, you know, a lot of people are like, I don't want to vote either way, but I want to vote this one because I don't like that one. I want you, every person to think for themselves. It's nothing about politics. It's just about life. It's about relationships too. When you pick somebody to be in a relationship, think with this, with what the best kind of person is for you to be with, the best kind of situation, relationship, personality, uh, patterns of behavior, and just critically think and get evidence so you can pick what you're gonna what you're gonna stand for. Man, this is hard. That is a whole nother topic. And I'm still looking into it. But it's it's so forced. It makes me not really like her for real. Megan, I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. That wasn't it, my sister. And I love you. It's no beef between us, you know. Honestly, you're the only woman I would ever consider, right? So when I tell you this, I tell you this out of love. Like, that wasn't it, my love. Now, what I find to be hilarious about this, right? I'm going to tell you guys what's so funny about this, okay? There's so much backlash for Kamala pulling that stunt, okay? Having made the stallion twerk, twerk at a political rally. Just straight up humiliating black people, okay? That's what she did, <laughs> Okay, she told you. Listen, I know what y'all like. Booty, fried chicken, collard greens in the bathtub, and a mm. fake southern accent, right? This is what she bought to Atlanta. <laughs> Yo. Again, this is why nobody takes black people seriously, okay? But again, it was so bad. There's so much backlash that even the LGBTQ white man, even the LGBTQ white man is like, yo, this won't it. This wasn't it. For that to be happening on a presidential stage, like she is performing at a rally for a presidential candidate. I mean, that is just such a sight to see and such an indicator of just the degeneration of, of politics and culture. I mean, that song was so explicit that she literally couldn't even like perform it. I mean, that video was literally just like noises. And before you even try to call me a hater, I literally been a fan of Megan. I saw her live in like 2018 when she was still touring for Tina Snow. So don't even go there with me. Hmm. I just think whoever chose Megan to perform, whoever signed off on that for that event. I mean, are we serious? I think this is really well said. I think he is saying exactly what needs to be said. This is a degeneration. We have completely gone down the toilet drain and we need to reevaluate what we're doing because this has, one has nothing to do with the other. Megan the Stallion doing that should never have been on there. That's why I said she should have done a rap that incorporated Kamala's uh, name, her policy, her, her voting for her, and incorporated it into one of her songs or something. Do something that's entertaining that makes people get behind them and have a, a chant and brings everybody together. He is right on. This is very good. Yes. But, but look who's defending it, though. Look who's defending it. The LGBTQ Black man is defending it though. Y'all are so worried about the wrong damn things that y'all always miss the mother and y'all miss the message. Y'all over here slut shaming Megan Thee Stallion because she performed at a Kamala Harris rally in Atlanta talking about she done set black women back. This is the way they look at us like this. There's a time and there's a place and there's a sense of decorum and why she out here twerking da 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 da. She barely even did a one two. She barely did a left cheek right to you drop low and then swang. She barely did any damn thing and there was nothing wrong with her performance. First of all I can tell that y'all are on the outside looking in because y'all didn't even pay attention to 
performance because Megan Thee Stallion said, nobody gets to tell us what we do with our body, then proceed to the play, body, yada, 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 yada. Last time I checked, Megan Thee Stallion has always been an advocate about women having bodily autonomy. Did you not forget the Republicans are trying to take away your bodily autonomy, the right to choose to do with your goddamn body? But Megan Thee Stallion is the person that's holding y'all back rather than the orange Oompa Loompa bitch fuck Agent Orange Donald damn Trump that took away women's reproductive rights. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Why y'all so concerned about what conservatives think about you? Why are you so concerned about what Republicans think about you? They don't even look at us as human beings, but yet you think Megan Thee Stallion is holding black women back? <laughs> oh my goodness. The point here being, for me, I just disagree completely with that last one because if this becomes okay and just normal, every single rally is going to be filled with raunchier and raunchier stuff. We're not even talking about the main points here anymore. We're talking about the entertainment part of this. We've got to get back to being respectful, kind, caring people. We don't have to, we honestly don't have to like each other all the time even. Really, we can appreciate each other. We can respectfully debate each other. We can also argue our own points. I want them to do that instead of trying to throw people up there just to get a vote because you put entertainment on. You tell me what you think. Give me your comments. Give me your feedback. Let me know what's what in the world just happened here today with Megan Thee Stallion and what is coming next. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.